let's just get going, honestly, because the more we rearrange and try to get perfect, the less we actually get accomplished. So. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, you already know what I'm gonna ask you to do. Please subscribe below. I'm on a mission to make it to 8,000 subscribers by my birthday, November 1st, Scorpio gang. So any help would be so appreciated. If you are a returning guest, you already know how much I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you guys for sharing my content, sharing clips you guys have seen, things you resonate with. It all really helps, so thank you so much. I'm here so that I can give you guys a really thorough review on a place that every time I go my perspective changes so I'm really looking forward to giving you guys my fresh new perspective on Penang Malaysia if you follow me on Instagram then you already know I'm in another country I haven't been to Malaysia in about two weeks and I have my pros and cons about this uh, this new environment that I'm in that's for another video for now, I'm gonna give you guys the review on Malaysia and hopefully you guys take something out of it. Last time you guys saw me in Malaysia, I was giving you guys a rundown of what my day looks like, mostly while I'm working. And that was probably three or four days before the coronavirus broke out there. Less than a handful of cases, I believe. Don't quote me, check the numbers, check the facts. But it wasn't as crazy as I've seen it been back home or in other parts of the world. So I'm grateful that my experience wasn't dampened. I'm grateful that I was able to take a nice, relaxing vacation to Penang for Valentine's Day weekend. Of course, my girlfriend came to visit, so I was super grateful for that as well. And my budget for Penang was very different than the previous times I've been. Valentine's weekend, I knew that I was gonna be spending because anytime my partner and I are together, this is the time that we want to really fully indulge. We want to make sure that we're eating good, we wanna make sure that we're catching sun, we wanna make sure that we're just doing whatever the hell we feel like doing, we don't limit ourselves to anything. So there's just so much I want to share about Penang. Now, to be honest, there have been some pros and cons about Malaysia in my book since I've lived there. I've had issues with fitting in or just feeling like I belong. Malaysia is known for its diversity. It has a great Indian culture, Malaysian culture, and Chinese culture. But as far as anything outside of that, I haven't really felt in my element. There aren't that many black expats in Malaysia. They kind of fly in and out because it is a very inexpensive city to transition to and from. It's worth it, honestly. It's cheap. You can get around very easily, but I have never really fit in to Malaysia, so I can't say that it's been at the top of my list for that. But let's get into the pros and the cons, and you already know, I'm gonna start with the cons. So for one, I've already talked about the diversity in Malaysia and how great it is to just be among different skin tones and see the different cultures around, but for me and my personal experience, I haven't felt the most in place. I've definitely experienced racism there. Nothing too outward, but just that microaggressive type of racism, which to me is even worse because you can feel it, but then everyone else around you cannot see it. Anyway, I think that with the locals, because they're so accustomed to the diversity that they experience, which is among that trio, anything outside of that kind of gets a stare or kind of gets a look like, <laughs> Other than that though, it's nothing crazy. I actually did notice a big difference when I was in Penang. So yeah, that microaggressive racism kind of trickles into Penang, but not anything too crazy. In fact, I do feel a lot more comfortable in Penang than I do in Kuala Lumpur, but those are for other reasons. I just want to let it be known that yes, that is still there. And for me, I still felt it. Cafes in Penang, as nice as they are, and as much as they have to entertain you with, the Wi-Fi isn't the strongest, so I wouldn't really recommend working from there. In fact, the weekend that I was there, I didn't even bring my laptop because I knew that if I tried to edit a video or upload anything, it would probably take me forever. So I just said, screw it, we're not gonna do that right now. One of the biggest reasons why I choose Penang when I go to Malaysia is because of the opportunity to be by the water without having to get on a plane. You can't take a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Penang, it'll probably take less than two hours or probably less than an hour at that but I just take a bus it's about a five and a half hour trip it's really smooth it's usually not an issue and I try not to choose the cheapest bus because the cheapest bus definitely feels like the cheapest bus the most expensive bus though is probably about 25 USD after you convert it for one way which isn't bad at all but the cheapest bus will be so tempting because it's dirt cheap and I've had experiences of just feeling sick or getting sick while on the bus so seeing how the virus broke out and I did not want to risk my chances I had paid a little bit more money to just have a nice smoother 
ride. So what's the con, right? Driving to Penang and getting closer to the water, once you see it, it's just breathtaking. For me, it just draws me in and lets me know that I am getting closer and closer to some serenity. Once you get on the beach, it's another story. The first few times I went to Penang, I visited the beach and I was just so disappointed at how filthy it is with the pollution on the beach itself and in the water. I mean, I've definitely seen worse, but it just doesn't feel good to see a beautiful landscape like that get completely trashed. So this time around, I wasn't even pressed to visit the beach. I already knew what I was gonna be seeing, so. I just let it go. You can get a decent view of the water though from the Getty. It's just about five minutes from the city center of Georgetown. Once you get to the Getty, you're pretty much just standing on a dock and seeing the ocean without the beach and without the trash. Another con, as in any other city in Malaysia, a Muslim country, you are not going to find cheap alcohol. Doesn't matter. Their happy hours are still pretty expensive when you think about it. And it's so disheartening for me because I love to drink. I love to have a good drink with a meal, whether it's a glass of wine or a beer, but knowing that I'm paying more than what it really is worth, or just knowing that I'm paying the same prices as I would back home, which is not what it's supposed to feel like when you're in Southeast Asia, I just, you know, yeah. A glass of cheap wine will cost you what a bottle of cheap wine back home would cost you, honestly. That's it. On to the pros. I am an I just like to be surrounded by art no matter where I am. It really does something for me spiritually, mentally, emotionally, all of that. I feel better when I get to just see art everywhere. And Penang is the place for you to just engulf yourself in art. Street art is everywhere and it's known for its street art. You can just get lost in the city for hours, searching for all the different murals on the walls, on the buildings, on the floors, everywhere. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt with no prize, but it's fun. I think it's one of my favorite parts about Penang. So adding on to the art, another pro is feeling like you're among other artists. A lot of the cool kids hang out in Penang. It's where you'll find a lot of people working on entrepreneurial ventures. It's where you'll find a lot of people studying art. And Penang is just where all the cool people go when they want to get away from work for a bit. So I really do enjoy being among that crowd. All the restaurants and cafes are full of arts. Like I said, the streets are full of art. And when it's time to shop, it's so easy to just stumble upon local art. A lot of artisans take their time to just distribute their work throughout the city. Clothes, jewelry, head wraps. I can get souvenirs from people. I can get gifts for myself. I can just be inspired by all the art that's around. My partner and I ran into art everywhere we went and it was so hard not to shop. But at the same time, we knew that we were supporting someone's passion. So it was just all good. I actually got these earrings and another pair at a Sunday market that kind of serves as like a farmer's market slash outdoor shopping center. It was really dope. There was tons and tons and tons of artistic products. Penang has it so in your face that you'll run into it everywhere you go. All right, enough about art. The food. The food in Penang to me is hands down some of the best food in Southeast Asia. There are so many versions of so many things. Yes, Malaysian food is amazing. They have their own culture when it comes down to frying chicken, okay? This country knows how to mix and blend from other cultures very, 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 very well. I've had some of the best pasta I've ever tasted in Penang, some of the best lobster I've ever tasted in Penang, some of the best french fries I've ever tasted in Penang. The ingredients used, the presentation, the price, it just all comes together so effortlessly and so perfectly that I definitely just go to Penang to eat food and look at art all day. Trust me, if you like those vibes, this is the place for you. The weather is amazing. When living in Kuala Lumpur, I really had to get used to the fact that it was gonna rain at least once a day, every single day. And not like cloudy, cute, let's cuddle up rain. I mean sticky, hot, humid thunderstorms. In Penang, the skies were just always blue for most of the day, and the times that it did rain, it really cooled off the city and just gave you that cozy vibe you're looking for. I was just so grateful. I really think that any city that's by the water clearly is gonna give you cooler air. This is why Penang is always on my list. I like being by the water. I like feeling all the differences that having water nearby you makes. So even though the alcohol is expensive, the nightlife in Penang is a vibe. In Kuala Lumpur, there's dope bars, don't get me wrong. But there was one speakeasy in particular that we went to in Penang that I have to shout out. The staff was hella knowledgeable knowledgeable on cocktails, the menu is extensive, and the price is on point for alcohol. It is amazing to be able to get a nice buzz, or get drunk, cause that happened too, but we not gonna talk about it, 
for a low price. It's probably the only bar that I will continue to go back to every time I'm in Penang because there, I don't mind spending my money. I know what I'm gonna get and I'm very proud of the work that they do. Honestly, when it comes to Penang, it really just feels good to be yourself. It feels good to be able to wear my head wraps, to have my shoulders out, to just feel like I can be my artistic self without having a whole bunch of people gawking and staring and wondering, and I think that if you've only been to Kuala Lumpur or if you've only been to other places in Malaysia and you haven't visited Penang, it's one of the places that will change your whole perspective on the country for sure. And that's it. I'm gonna keep it real funky with you. When it comes to rating Penang, it gets an 8.5. It would get a nine if the beach wasn't so trash, literally. But an 8.5 is saying a lot. It's saying that I'm comfortable there. It's saying that I can have fun there. It's saying that it's beautiful enough there for me to just get lost and take pictures of everything and meet among everything. It's just saying that this is a place that you definitely should have on your list of places to go. So let me know what you think. Let me know if Penang is a place you think you'd visit. Let me know if you visited already and what your thoughts are on it. And honestly, let me know how you were feeling about this video. If you were feeling it, please hit the like button below. It does make a difference. And I just wanna see you guys in my comments letting me know what it is you want me to review next. Y'all know I've been to a lot of places, so I will put it on my list of places to review for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.